everyone and welcome to Simply Made Homestead. Now today it is time to change the uh, shavings in the trays to clean up the trays and uh, it's hot humid summertime here so I actually have to clean them a little more often because the flies are just so bad and any kind of poop or moisture um, they just really just are attracted to it and it's just terrible and I want my quail to stay clean and comfortable and um, who wants to smell all that anyway, right? So I'm gonna show you today just how easy it is to clean the quail cages with this uh, quail cage design. And um, over here, you'll notice this is um, like, it's a hot mess. Yeah, it's kind of really poopy. It is time for this cage to be cleaned. Um, in the quail cage build, we just built that one over there, so it hasn't been around long. And you can see how clean it is still. But this one over here, this one's been around for a while now, so it's time to clean it. I'm gonna have to get the quail out of there and take care of that. So we've removed our watering system. For any of you who are wondering about the watering system, I am going to record a video on that today. So if you're seeing this video uh, right now, um, on the day it was recorded, this a watering system build will be available tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. But we've taken it down for now because we are gonna pull the quail. We're gonna give it a really good cleaning. We're gonna give the watering system a really good cleaning. And I will do a video on that as well so you can see how easy that is. All right, so time to get going. Now I have a, a wheelbarrow in here because um, it's a big wheelbarrow. And anything that sticks to the bottom, I just have a little plastic scraper, cheap little scraper, and I dump it. And I set my tray off to the side. And just spread it around nice and even. And I just try to get it really thin because you really want it, it's just to absorb the moisture and uh, and it really helps keep the smell down too. Now, with it being hot, humid weather, I empty my quilt, my pens, my trays. I empty my trays um, twice a week. I need to, to empty them that often. Um, in the winter or cool weather, when it's not um, hot and humid and just, you know, driving us all crazy, um, I'll do it once a week, and they last just fine. It because we don't have trouble with flies, and you don't have the smell, so. It makes it really easy. They're talking to you, you hear? <laughs> All right. There we go. And then just spread it out there. Yes, I do try to really kind of cover all the ground there. Something's kicking my allergies up. Could probably this pine. Okay. 
anytime y'all hear me sniffling in the videos, I'm really sorry. I just have terrible seasonal allergies. And I forget to take my pill lots of time. All right. And then it just slides back in there. And one row is done. So. Now, I do want to, um, if you're wondering, right now we're using, because I've had the question, what kind of waters, watering systems do you use? We do have an automatic water that we've built for this one. Um, I am in the process of building another one that I'm going to show all of you, not today, but it will be in the next video, that we're going to put on this quail cage. And then I also plan to put one on this, because it is amazing. These little waterers, we, and this plus it being summertime, we have to fill them every day. And sometimes they'll like stand on the side of them and dump them over and just cause all kind of water in the pan, which is not good. So, uh, but that is what we're using right now. We're using the little waters. Now these little pans that are in here, they love these pans. You can see over here perhaps, they're all, there's always somebody in a pan. It's got sand in it, just builder sand. And they love to take their sand baths. And you know, quail doesn't have a lot to do. They, they don't have a, a lot going on during the day. So it gives them something to do. It helps keep them occupied. They're not picking on each other as much. Now some quail just love to pick and be ugly. And those are the ones that don't stick around. We don't keep mean animals here on our homestead. And uh, so, but sometimes you will have one that's just really, really just kind of mean. I just, last week, I put some new ones in together. Um, and whenever I put them in, I try to put at least the, as the same number of new ones as the old ones in there. Or I'll put more new ones than... Um, you know, I try to keep the numbers very even. And I had one who literally got pecked in both eyes. And the poor thing was just sitting there in the corner. And I check on them every day, twice a day at least, to make sure nobody's being bullied in this poor thing. I tried to help it and heal its eyes and it just didn't work. So anyway, you gotta keep an eye out for the bullies. And then, as a homesteader, it makes it a little easier to add to the freezer when they're made. <laughs> Now we do have a surprise coming to the, to the homestead and it should be here, oh gosh, in about a week, 10 days. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, I can't wait to show all of you. Nice and spread out there. And um, I do use pine shavings. Um, never use cedar with your poultry. Um, there's something in the cedar it, that will uh, send off a fume, and it's really, really bad for your birds. So never, never use cedar. I know it smells amazing, and birds are so stinky. It makes you want to use it, but don't use it. Use the pine shavings, because it absorbs it too, and it smells good too. And, uh, and it'll keep your birds nice and healthy. All right, guys, 
I'm gonna move on and do these two little pins over here. And as a quick note, if you like these cages, we do have a 12 cage build, uh, made easy step-by-step -step instructions video that's out. I will link it. Um, so be sure and check that out. And I hope this has helped you on your, um, your own adventure or your uh, thoughts of having raising quail in your homestead. It is, I highly recommend it. They are, they take up very little space. You see how many birds we have here. Um, in each of these cages, the whole cage is a whole. We have six in each cage. So we have 18 per set. Um, and then we have some extras over here. These are little young ones, our grow outs that are going to be moving over soon, most of them. So if you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified for future videos, you can ring that bell. Please share us with your friends and family and all across social media. That's the absolute best thing you can do to help us. And until next time, take care and God bless.